Hi, YouTube world. Um, I guess I'm just getting on my little things on my mind out. <laughs> but I am going to talk to you guys a little bit about codependency today. Um, I am still trying to figure out exactly what it is. Um, I am codependent. Um, basically, from what I understand, it is where you try to make the other person happy. It's a two-way relationship where one person is the giver and the other person is, I guess, the perpetrator or the, um, yeah, I wouldn't say perpetrator. That's a little bit of a harsh word, but it's basically where the other person is, um, the receiver. Okay, so the giver and the receiver. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yes, I am codependent, so my rule of the relationship, I'm going to give you guys a for instance. Let's say that I am in a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, and my boyfriend, let me think, is not happy because... It would be an everyday example. My boyfriend is not happy because he can't go to the store by himself, let's say. Um, he feels like he always needs me there. He feels like he is needy. In fact, this is uh, an example of what actually happened. <laughs> so, my codependency would come into play and I would be thinking, he would be expressing, I can't go to the store by myself. Um, I want you there. I don't feel comfortable. I need you. They're very needy people. And I would in turn look at him and, you know, be like, oh my gosh, he's not happy. I'm very concerned about him. And um, to make my f myself feel complete, I would take on the role as, oh my gosh, I have to go to the store with him. And um, while we're there... I know what he expects and what he demands. Like, he doesn't want me to, to, uh, to spend too much money, let's say. So, I would in turn be so worried about not spending any money, and, um, I would have anxiety about that, because I would want to make him happy. Sorry, that's the phone. Um, because I would want to be making him happy no matter what, and, um, and he knows this and so we get into this relationship over time it grows bigger and bigger that he knows that I will try to make him happy in any way that he can so anything that he demands basically I will be trying to fulfill because I don't feel complete unless he feels good about himself or unless he feels safe when in actuality I'm like Oh my gosh, brain fart, woo! Um, when in actuality, I am sacrificing my happiness for him. Um, so that's basically what I found. Um, and in order to get out of the, out of this kind of relationship, you've got to become the perpetrator, or not the perpetrator, goodness gracious, um, you've got to become the persecutor. Basically, you've got to stand up for yourself the next time that he asks, I need to, you to come to the store with me because if you don't come to the store, I'm going to be so anxiety ridden, oh my gosh, and you have the money and I need you to pay and I'm going to be so upset and oh my gosh, and they start throwing a fit. you got to put your foot down and say, I'm sorry, but I have duck to duck to duck to do and I'm not going to be able to make it today. I'm not saying that these people are intentionally doing this, and I'm not saying the, that they are abusers. I'm just saying that they become, I mean, maybe they are, that they were abused, or maybe they don't feel good themselves, and so that is why they're so needy. Some people are more less aggressive when you become the, the persecutor, and some people are get really, really mad. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that you wouldn't go to the store with me, and blah, 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 you know, and make you feel guilty, and you'll probably give in the first few times. Um... But that's just what I've come to to realize. Um, that's just my little spiel on codependency. I don't know if it makes any sense. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask me. Sorry, I'm talking really fast. Um, yeah. 
so that's basically my little spiel and uh, please subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye, YouTube.